AGS pressure relief valve kit can be installed new or replaced an older kit without draining down the system. Start by preparing the new parts with thread sealant or tape. When installing a new kit, first turn the test and drain valve handle to the drain position. This will isolate the adapter's access port from the system. Remove the plug from the adapter end of the test and drain valve. Thread on the new pressure relief valve until it is leak tight and the valve outlet is pointing downward. Return the test and drain valve handle to the off position. Remove the blue plastic plug from the bypass access port of the test and drain valve. Replace it with one of the barbed elbows. Thread the other barbed elbow into the pressure relief valve's outlet. Make sure that the elbows are leak tight. Attach one end of the bypass pipe to an elbow and slide on the hose clamps. Attach the other pipe end to the other elbow, tighten the hose clamps, and you're finished. When replacing an old pressure relief valve, start by removing the bypass pipe. Remove the barbed elbow from the bypass port. Replace it with a half inch plug. Hopefully you retain the plug that originally came with the test and drain valve. Remove the other barbed elbow from the pressure relief valve. Turn the test and drain valve handle to the drain position. Remove the old pressure relief valve. Thread on the new pressure relief valve until it is leak tight and the valve outlet is pointing downward. Turn the test and drain valve handle to the off position. Thread one of the barbed elbows into the outlet of the pressure relief valve. Remove the half inch plug you inserted and replace it with the second barbed elbow. Make sure the elbows are leak tight. Attach one end of the bypass pipe to an elbow and slide on the hose clamps. Attach the other pipe end to the other elbow, tighten the hose clamps, and you're finished. 